Ушли и морда. Shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Big punch lands through the middle. now throwing that jab no good right hook to the head block nice sneaky head kick got the single collar tie oh bleeding from his cheek now damage done and he connects there DC great job landing that punch Such a fast leg kick. Single collar tie now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Punches blocked. 
Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And they separate. Punch out for the end of round one. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in the He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And he connects with the punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. That was a thudding leg. Both kick. fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Straight punch lands. Nice leg kick lands. Goes back to that left kick once again. Throws the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Good work blocking the knee. Nice punch, man. That was lightning fast, that right hand. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Ooh, what a punch. Nice head kick. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just out of range with that strike. Watch the power tie now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Man, it's time to shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from land. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, nice knees to the body here in the clinch. I know you're deceptively fast. I'm gonna look for more knees in the clinch out of you in your next fight. It's a difficult technique to pull off. But the oxygen jump man land more than one knee to the body is amazing. Oh, huge block! Sneaky 
sneaky head kick. Mighty engages in the single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Leg kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, big shot lands. He's back to the clinch. How does he proceed from here? And they separate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick lands. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, double leg lands. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him, but the guy on the bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back 
back to the mat so then he can start to work on his defensive transition. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling this position just on top of you and riding you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half guard. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Good punch, Lance. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. 30 seconds to go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Final seconds of round three. Wow. That's three rounds of the can. We're headed to the championship round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Just out of range with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Big kick lands. Oh, straight to the body by Lee. Lost the shot to the body. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Boy, type club. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Look at the turtle and that kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Again, back into this position. Nice punch lands over the top. Notice the drive. Look how he drives the knee right into the midsection. Oh, collar tie. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nice leg kick. He blocks the punch. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Hands up. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Misses with the left hook. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. There's no give on that leg kick. Right hand, then a left. Single collar tie now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the bone. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Both fighters throwing heat now. 90 seconds remain in the round. What a punch. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ooh, blocks the shot. Can't take many of those, you better check. Under a minute to go. Beautiful body kick. How good is that right hand? Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut, make him pay for it. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, man, it ain't to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. 20 seconds to go. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Final seconds. Big kick land. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body through there. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not in going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, uh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Good stick. Back and forth we go. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Pretty good right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, single collar tie now. Great punch landing with so much power. Clinch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the cage. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Just out of range with the straight left hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Again, back into this position. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Man. Oh, single collar tie here. He comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Beautiful strike. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, he needs to finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Big elbow there. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punches. Really, he's got his opponent. Oh, the thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Roosh, the Dragon Lee! Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this.